Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Well, more than half of the state's counties are designated as high risk locations for coronavirus spread. 53 of Indiana's 92 counties were placed in orange or red levels yesterday under the State Department of Health's color coded tracking map. The new numbers are the most since the state implemented the rating system in September. The governor says there is COVID spread in virtually every county, putting hospitals under tremendous pressure. As Pat Bean reports, more than 100 people a day are being admitted to Indiana hospitals with COVID-19 symptoms. Across the state, nearly 1,700 Hoosiers are hospitalized with the virus, including nearly 500 in intensive care units. The South Central region has been hit particularly hard. Last week, the ICU unit at IU Health Bedford was full. That prompted IU Health to impose a stricter patient visitation policy. We've been allowing one visitor, but that visitor could rotate. That is no longer the case because it poses too much of a risk uh, to our patients, our team members, and our community. Hospitalizations are at levels not seen since April, and small rural communities are being hit the hardest. Most of the COVID hospitalizations were focused in the bigger, um, more populated areas, Indianapolis, Fort Wayne, et cetera. And this time, uh, actually, Anderson, our hospital in Anderson and in Kokomo have just as many patients as our Indianapolis hospitals. The community hospital network, which includes nine hospitals in central Indiana, is better equipped to deal with the spike in cases now than they were during the initial surge in April. They also have an adequate supply of personal protection equipment. Still, that doesn't mean their staff is immune. Where we get a little bit anxious is staffing itself, is making sure our staff stay healthy. This week alone, we had 100 nurses out with COVID, seven doctors, and so, you know, uh, it's, it's real. Hospitals around the state are coordinating their patient loads as the number of COVID patients continues to rise. Perhaps there are some facilities that have more ICU beds, so especially in a rural area, they may have to transfer patients where there are more ICU beds available. And with the flu season here, hospitals are bracing for another surge of patients. People have called it the, the twindemic or, uh, you know, what, what could really be a double whammy. The state's health commissioner says she's been told there could be a vaccine available for some Hoosiers by the middle of next month. Healthcare workers will be the first to get vaccinated with a likely limited drug supply. We believe that the first vaccine that will come out will be Pfizer's vaccine, which is a two-dose vaccine. Buck says a second vaccine, developed by Moderna, could be ready by early December. Neither vaccine has been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Republican Governor Eric Holcomb says he does not support requiring residents to get a COVID-19 vaccine, but he wants to make sure it is quickly made available statewide. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Pat Bean.